Welcome back guys to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name is Kyle. Today we're talking about the good old beaver dam. You guys might have some of these sitting around in the bucket in your garage and they might not work as good as they used to. Let's bring them back to brand new and join us as we do it. So if your spool is getting harder and harder to turn as it sits outside, what's happening is the water that gets inside of the um, spindle here is freezing up and they make this no freeze grease. How you fix that is you would heat the bottom of it up, take the solder off and basically pull the spool off, pull the inside of it all apart, put new grease on it, put it back together. But not a lot of people have the right tools to even try to work with that solder or get it you know, back on or off. Um, I did try to do this one myself, and as you can see, it didn't work that good. However, if you go on to Acme Tackle and look at the Beaver Dams, you can actually order a whole new spool kit. That's what we're gonna do today, is take this whole new spool kit, rig up a, one of these old tip-ups into new, but they actually have a set screw, so there's no solder on the bottom anymore, and the set screw is a lot easier to take apart, and these new ones, once you get these, you shouldn't even have to worry about um, you know, greasing these for maybe a couple of years or whatnot. But when you get to that point in time, you take the set screw out, you grease it up. So let's take off one of these old ones, get one of these new ones on here, bring it back to life. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this wing nut off of here. We're gonna pop that spindle out of here. There's a little bolt going all the way through it. Got our wing nut. So pop the old spindle out, just like that. Grab our new spindle, get it all untangled here. Now there's a way that it goes. You have this this way or this way, and it actually goes this way. So we're gonna put that through there like this. Ooh, she's gonna be a nice tight fit too. Let's um, put like a little fork in here to spread this tip up. All right, so we got her in there. We just gotta line it up a little bit here. So then we can push our bolt set screw back through, or this bolt basically. Tap her through, just like that. Make sure the square lines back up, just like that. Put on our washer, get our wing nut back on. And now all we gotta do is basically reline our tip up. Which, what I've been using for line is a um, 40 pound beaver dam tip up line. There is, there's 50 yards on here. Basically what I do is pull out half the spool. I put 25 yards on each tip up, which is like a hundred and something feet. But uh, I find that one line or one spool will actually do two tip ups. So that's how much I use on mine. This one, you can see the flag fell off at one point in time and I just kind of weaved um, this red fabric through here. So what we can do is we can get on to Acme. Also with their spool kits, you can order um, flag kits as well. So we're gonna put a new flag on this one. And how you take your flags off is you just grab the flag and twist it to the left, just like untwisting any bolt or anything like that. Just pops off of there. And then you take the new one and you twist it on the same way. Just twist it to the left. That opens up that spring. Just like that. We took our old tip up and we made her new again. Let's do that to a couple more and we'll be ready to roll. All right, so we're gonna line this one up here. I just took out 75 feet of line. Um, basically, I just wrap an underhand knot. I'll do an underhand knot again or overhand, whatever they call that. We're gonna tie that tight and then I'll do that one more time. I'll run two underhand or two overhand knots. Um, I just find that those hold up you know, pretty nice and tight. They work against each other to give you a nice bond to your spool. And I do the same thing with that other line as well, but then it's not gonna, you know, it'll spin around there, but you can't pull it out. So we're gonna clip off our tag end, get this spool wound up. And then for line markers, we're just gonna run a little button that's just a two-place button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it um, through one side, 
and then through the other side. And what that'll do is we can slide this up and down our line to give us our depth. Uh, you guys have been telling me for many, many years, put a button on the line. Um, well, I got some rigs from Z Leader Fishing and he sent me these buttons. So thank you, Jeremy from Z Leaders uh, for the buttons. There we go. So now there is our line marker. We can move that up and down our line as we're setting our depth. Now we're gonna be fishing pike with these tip ups. Um, what basically I'm using as a leader, one of my old spools here is a swivel to a 30 pound floral carbon leader. Well, this one's got just one big sinker and then probably about a number, uh, I would say eight hook or so right in there. Uh, but basically that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this leader off of here. Doesn't look like there's any bite marks or anything on here. So this is still a good leader. We're gonna snip that off, tie it onto our tip up and we'll be good to go. Just like that, we got some rebuilt tip ups. So I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something. Before you know it, you're gonna be out there and you're gonna be yelling, tip up! So get out there before the season's closed. Like always, we'll see ya next time.